Yo, what's up guys? Uh, I caught a couple of minutes in the in the swing time of, of, of a couple of things that I was doing and something that came up that people have been asking me uh, about lately, you know, in person and on Instagram and, and on Facebook and whatnot has been, what is that big obsession with DoorDash for the for the restaurants and, and for, you know, why, why DoorDash, why not Grubhub, why not do it yourself, why not set up delivery yourself? And it, the, it's simple right uh the national marketing you you cannot get national marketing for three dollars an order you can't but you you take a ten dollar order on average which is what most people's average is in a cafe in a you know in a lunch spot something like that you cannot pay three dollars an order for national marketing you can't every time that DoorDash gets thrown out on, you know, on TV or on Facebook, on massive promo ads, on Instagram, on whatever it may be. I mean, I think that there was a DoorDash ad on during the Super Bowl. You know, you, you can't pay $3 in order on an average $10 for that. You, you, you can't do it. And on top of it, especially in New York State, where your minimum wage is $11, you can't even afford to pay a delivery driver to sit there all day and still make it worth. Yeah, you might get to a point, right? If you're doing $5,000 in DoorDash a day, or if you're doing even $3,000 in DoorDash a day, well then yeah, it's time, okay. We need to think about, you know, can we skew some of this delivery to ourselves while also still keeping our, you know, keeping our DoorDash representation and whatnot. Because again, keep in mind, the national marketing of it you can't market you can't market yourself personally enough to make that you know to make that dollar that is so much in them uh and they do such a great job at that and and i've talked about it i think a million times with with so many local people in in my region that are just so against doordash and and spending that three dollars in order because it's 30 percent in their head oh i'm only making 70 percent i'm not making a hundred and my food cost is 20 percent and this but you have to think of what you're getting out of it if it's increasing sales that you weren't going to have prior it's worth it if you're doing say a thousand dollars a day and you're stuck, I can't make more than $1,000 a day, I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can, I'm doing the marketing, I'm paying Facebook, I'm paying Instagram, I'm paying everything, and you're still not making it, then all of a sudden if you throw yourself on DoorDash and now you're doing $1,400, $1,600, $1,800 a day, it's worth it. it it's worth that. You can't make, you, you simply cannot make that on your own. You cannot make national marketing on your own. It's impossible, it doesn't happen, People have tried time and time again to try to do it on their own. It just simply doesn't. It just simply doesn't work. That is what it is. Uh, I'm a massive. Uh, I'm a massive DoorDash fan for the pure fact that they have stepped into smaller regions as my own, where a lot of the other companies are a little afraid to step into uh, regions like this, just because there is, you know, not as many customers, not as many drivers, so they get a little nervous with these regions. But they're, you know, they step right into it. They jump in head first. You know, it's just one of those things the, with the world in, in the way that it is. COVID-19 setting in. We're going into 2021 here, people. And the world is going virtual. People are not going to restaurants anymore. Because, yeah, we may get the vaccine in a couple weeks. But that doesn't mean that once we get it, that everything's just gonna go back to normal. We may we may wear masks for the next two to three years. People may be afraid to go into restaurants for the next year and a half, two years. People have been caught up in their house for the better part of eight, 10, 12 months by the time that this happens. You have to work on virtual. Virtual is where it's at. How many people nowadays, you ask the people, walk around and ask the people, how many people of you are using Instacart? How many of you are ordering your groceries online and picking them up in the Walmart parking lot. People are not going in stores anymore. People are not going in restaurants anymore. You have to go virtual. You have to work virtual. It's going to be massive in 2021. Mark my words. You step into DoorDash, you step into Chow Now, Grubhub, whatever your region may provide you. Watch your sales increase. Watch the people meet 
way more pleased with you for doing it and, and struggling to get through it rather than not doing it at all. They want those options. They wanna be able to order online. They wanna be able to order from you when they don't wanna step foot in the door as this continues to surge out of control. It's going to be massive in 2021. Mark my words, online delivering and online ordering is going to be larger than it ever has before. If you think it's large now, 2021 and onward is going to make it bigger than it's ever been before. They're going to expand into more markets. They're going to continue to strive for bigger and better marketing on their platforms. They're bettering their platform by the day. You're gonna wanna be involved, I can guarantee it. You're going to want to be involved in that process. Virtual online ordering is where the restaurant industry is going to be going quickly, quickly, quickly. They are moving fast. Everybody is doing it. You look, even, even the people that you would have never expected to be on DoorDash, Olive Gardens, and you know Olive Gardens and Applebee's and TGI Fridays. You would have never expected those national chains. They don't need any extra money, but they're on it. What does that tell you? It's working for them. It can work for you. You're going to want to be involved. Mark my words today. It's 12-3, 2020. You're gonna wanna be involved in virtual online ordering going into 2021. It's going to be bigger than it's ever been before. All right, guys, I wanted to give that uh, another video here coming soon is going to be, uh, we're going to be talking about virtual restaurants. I know that a lot of people are super confused of, of what it is. I'm actually working on like three of them myself right now. Uh, get them up and up and going with the, with the restaurants that, that we have right now. It's going to be a super interesting concept. It's going to be coming soon. We got a lot of different content coming to you guys here in the upcoming weeks. I'm super excited about it. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, showing that love. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. We're gonna be on that road. It's gonna take us some time to grow in the business uh, business industry on YouTube, uh, and you know, on the on the other platforms, on the on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, you know, on TikTok, on LinkedIn, on Tumblr, whatever it may be. But we're gonna get it going. We got a lot of stuff going on. I'm super excited about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, later.